I'm someone who's a bit of a junkie when it comes to getting the best possible quality footage and audio within my low budget. So when I found out that I had the opportunity to try out possibly the best quality 1080p60 capture card, the AGA Kona LHI from my buddy over at TechSoup, I was pumped only to have my dreams crushed by the absurd write requirements of 10-bit video. At minimum, a four hard drive RAID 0 array with big mechanical hard drives to sustain the large file sizes created by the card would be required, with more drives preferable for faster speeds. That's a costly investment and not even something I could fit within my computer. My usual recording SSD just couldn't keep up, but I needed a solution. Thankfully, Western Digital agreed to sponsor this video and send out their brand new WD Black PCIe M.2 NVMe SSD. I can't say I've used a faster storage device ever. I'm Eples Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and wow, the fact that I can use a broadcast grade capture card typically reserved for Mac Pros and big multi hard drive RAID 0 arrays within my desktop computer with a SSD smaller than the capture card itself is just quite the testament to how far technology has come. The WD Black PCIe SSD is a M.2 2280 form factor targeted at enthusiasts. It's tiny and comes in 256 and 512 gigabyte models, and with the 512 gigabyte model being a little bit faster. WD includes a five year lifetime warranty too. Nice. This thing is fast, up to 800 megabytes per second write speeds. I, I, I usually get around a little between 600 and 750 ish when I'm already recording something, sending data through my system, and so on, but still really, really fast. Read speeds are this drive's forte, however, with up to two gigabytes per second reads. I had talked before about how solid state drives can be a great investment for a cache drive or scratch disk for your video production, and this drive would be even better for that. With this SSD, I'm able to use the AGA capture card to capture some of my game consoles at full 8-bit and 10-bit uncompressed quality, allowing me to do crazy things like upscale Destiny to 8K for a proof of concept video without losing any quality. Insane. My only wish is that I could get these in the two plus terabyte storage capacity range as well. One day, one day. I'm an advocate of using SSDs whenever possible, and a system that runs just on this M.2 SSD as the boot and programs drive and a normal SATA SSD as your mass storage will be one of the most responsive systems ever. If you want to include a WD Black PCIe SSD in your next computer build, WD has a full compatibility list available on their website. They also offer up an SSD dashboard tool to allow you to view things like the health of your solid state drive, smart information, uh, storage capacities, temperatures, and so on. And it works both with the PCIe and the SATA SSDs that they provide, which is kind of neat. I will need to return my AGA capture card soon, but I will still be using the WD Black PCIe SSD for my crazy recording needs for a long time to come. Plus, it's just kind of cool having the M.2 slot on my motherboard occupied. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Many thanks to WD for sponsoring this fun little experiment. Product links to their WD Black PCIe SSDs as well as their compatibility checklist will be in the description down below. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Get subscribed for more awesome tech content. I'm Vox, and I will catch you in the next one.